Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate GitHub with Azure, uh, Azure DevOps. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at github.com or log in to our existing account. Once we are in here, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how we can make this integration work using third-party app. So let's go and use automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are in here, we want to go to the top corner of our uh, screen to integrations. And once we are in here, let's go uh, to the bottom left part of our screen uh, to see all categories. Now we are at app integrations, so we have to write down the first integration we want to uh, integrate or first app we want to integrate. So let's go with the GitHub. Once we implemented GitHub, we want to go with Azure uh, as the next one. Once we do that, uh, we are greeted by uh, some already pre-made uh, integrations by automate.io as popular integrations. So as you can see, there are three of them already pre-made, but if you are not able to find one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, we want to go and start with GitHub like this. There's a couple of options for GitHub, but I'm going with the first one just to show you. On the opposite side though, we want to go with actions. And on the right side, we want to pick one of those two. So I'm still sticking with the first one. All we have to do now, we have to click on uh, let's try button. And uh, all we have to do now is just to log in or register to our existing account at automate.io. Uh, once we do that, we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com, which is a quite similar app to GitHub, uh, I'm sorry, to automate.io. Uh, we also need to create an account here and let's go to the top left corner to create a Zap. Once we're in there, we have to set up a trigger. The trigger is once again starting with, with GitHub. We have to pick the trigger event. So there's a more to pick from, but I'm sticking with the first one. Continue. And the last thing is we have to sign into GitHub straight away. Second action. And the second action, we want to, as you probably thought, write down Azure DevOps. We also need to pick a trigger, so there's one more option. Like this, continue, and all we have to do now is to sign into Azure DevOps. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.